What's up, you guys? It's Adana. All right, so I wanted to give you guys a couple tips, a few websites that you should absolutely be familiar with if you are trying to get into PA school. If you are already in PA school, you should definitely be familiar with these websites as well because they will help you not only get into, but through PA school. And if that motto sounds familiar, um, keep watching. Let's get into the video right now. What's up you guys, it's and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I wanted to make this really quick video for you guys. I've been talking a lot about, you know, like being a PA, the burnout rate, the easiest schools to get into, um, kind of like the things that you should be looking at when looking into PA school. And so this video I think is right on par with that, is if you are trying to get into PA school or if you are currently in PA school, these are some websites um, that you should absolutely be familiar with, okay? So let's get into it. Uh, the first website that I want to talk about is YouTube. Of course, you're watching me here on YouTube or listening to me on YouTube. And by far, I think that this is probably one of the best sites that you should absolutely be paying attention to when you're trying to get into PA school and going through PA school. There is a plethora of information about becoming a PA, about what it's like on various different rotations for from various different YouTubers, um, not just me. And so you should probably check out some other channels as well. But that will help you not only understand what you're learning in PA school, uh, but the things that you should probably be studying for when it comes to boards. And if you're a pre-PA student, it gives you all of the information about how to get into PA school. And so that is why YouTube is very, very, very beneficial to you as either a pre-PA student or a PA student because it will help you not only get into, but through PA school. And just like YouTube, you know, shameless plug, I think you should absolutely join Get That to University. Um, this is my website that I c c created just not too long ago, about a little over almost two years now actually, uh, coming up in a month. And in this website you'll find information on what it's like to be a PA uh, through our virtual shadowing aspects of the site. You can learn medical Spanish, which is imperative uh, when you're trying to become a PA. I, I am using it myself uh, because I need to be able to communicate what I want to say to my patients that are Spanish speaking um, when I want to say it without using the translator because sometimes it gets lost in translation. So definitely check the website out. There's also opportunities for you to get uh, pre-PA kind of consultation sessions as well as personal statement reviews. Um, and so those are things those are, are, I guess you could say, those are various different services that we provide that you can actually take advantage of without becoming a member. But by all means, it's really just a good opportunity for you to become a member uh, to kind of be around a community of people that are doing the same thing or are trying to get to the same uh, goal that you're trying to get to. So check out Get That to University. Uh, another website that you should absolutely be familiar with is AAPA. So AAPA is our national organization's website. This is where you go to get all of the news about what's happening in the PA world, okay? So all of the various different legislation, um, if you're trying to go to APA's conference where we get all of our CME, um, I know that as a PA student we went, but as a PA student, I met some pre-PA students there as well, which I thought was brilliant because they got to kind of like mingle with uh, future colleagues in a sense, you know, because they got to see and learn about the PA profession, learn from PAs, and it was it was really beneficial for them. So if you are interested in becoming a PA, for sure, for sure, definitely go to apa.org. You will have all of the information that you need on what a PA is, what a PA does, um, straight from the sorts, uh, and you'll also be able to kind of tap into some of the information like um, PA history and, and those different things, okay? So that is the third website that I absolutely think you should be familiar with if you are either trying to be a PA, from the pre-PA end or from a PA student end. The next website that you should be very familiar with is PAEA, okay, PAEAonline.org. Now PAEA Online is the PA education website. 
Now I've used PAEA on various different uh, videos that I've gone through. They have the kind of directory of all of the various different PA schools that are currently like in existence. Um, and there you can see like who requires what when it comes to GPA or GRE. Uh, you can see like when their deadlines are for applications. Uh, those are things that are very, very important when you're trying to get into PA school um, as a pre-PA student, but also as a PA student, PAEA is very good for you as well because you can go and you can look on that website to see what is new in PA education. Um, you can find out about, you know, the pants and you can find out about the blueprint and all of those various different things because those things are kind of what you're looking forward to and so uh, that is a website to very be be very familiar with and keep up with because there's they're always putting information out about PA education and there are also opportunities for like leadership positions as a PA student um, and as a post grad student um, when you're like into education okay and and you want to know or teach others more about PA education so definitely be aware of paeaonline.org okay. Another website that you should absolutely be familiar with, and I love this website. It's one of my favorite websites um, that I kind of continuously go back to to get information from, but also uh, I used it a lot when I was in PA school and I used it post PA school to study for my boards, and that is Rosh Review. So Rosh Review has various different Q banks for PA students and pre-PA students now, and PAs, right? And so it's really important when you're in those various different stages of your PA career, um, you can always tap back into Rosh Review. So as a pre pre-PA student, Ross Review is very beneficial to you because what it allows you to do is tap into your kind of your pre-PA Q bank, right? So the Q bank for your uh, PA cat because Ross Review has partnered with the PA cat to provide a Q bank of questions so that you can study for the PA cat, but also there's a Q bank for you to just kind of study from when you're in that limbo of going from pre PA student to PA student. When you just need a refresher course, Ross Review has a Q bank for that as well. It, it has all of the things anatomy, and it's really, really beneficial because when you get into PA school, you're going to need to know your anatomy. Anatomy. Uh, as a PA student, Ross Review is beneficial because they have tons of board review stuff and tons of Q banks. So when you're on rotations and you're trying to like get your EORs, um, you know, together and you're studying for them, Ross Review has Q banks for that. When you're just in PA school and you're studying for a particular section that you're learning in your whatever it's it's called for you in terms of when you're learning like the medicine of becoming a PA, um, Ross Review has lots of Q banks for that as well. And then obviously when you're already like a PA and you need to now re certify Ross Review has Q banks for you to study for your boards and so it's really all encompassing in your um, full spectrum of PA life and so it is truly like a diamond in the rough when it comes to uh, helping you get through PA school um, and into PA school and obviously post PA school. Another website that you should be familiar with is NCCPA. All right, so NCCPA is the certification website for the PA profession. That's where you go to actually like you know, order, I guess you could say, your your boards, you know, pay for it um, and do all of those things with respect to preparation for your boards. They also have um, kind of a, a test, like a practice test, two of them I believe it is, that you can use to study for your boards and uh, anything with respect to certification or recertification, it goes through NCCPA. So when you need to keep track of all of the CMEs that you're um, accru accruing because you need uh, CMEs as a PA. Uh, each year you have to accrue a certain number of CMEs to keep up with your license and your certification. And so uh, for that,
that, NCCPA uh, is the place that you would go to get that. But that is another website that you should absolutely be familiar with because it is beneficial to you, okay? So keep that in your back pocket. And last but not least, if you are a pre-PA student, you should absolutely be familiar with CASPA. Now, CASPA is our central application site. This is where you go if you are trying to apply to PA school, especially a PA school that is participating with CASPA, and the majority of PA schools are. So you would fill out one application on the CASPA website, and then you would be able to disperse that one application out to the various different programs that you are interested in. And so if you do not know about CASPA just yet, uh, and now is your introduction, to it, you should absolutely be familiar with this website. Go there now, even if you're not ready to apply to PA school, um, look around and get familiar with it. On the website, you can also find all of the various different participating programs that are currently participating with CASPA for either that particular league year or depending on where you're at in the cycle, maybe even the next year. And on that list, it will have all of the schools, their specific deadlines, those that are already in development, and then those that are being developed. And so like your, your newer programs will be at the bottom of the list. So be sure to check out CASPA because it is a site that you should be familiar with, especially if you're trying to get into PA school. All right, so that is my quick list for you. I think, I think it turned out like, quick. I don't know. I Maybe I rambled on. I don't know. Anyways, but hopefully you guys liked the video. Um, if you have any other questions for me, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like it, subscribe to my channel, uh, follow me on Instagram, edit on the PA, and on Instagram at Get That C University. And don't forget to check out GetThatCUniversity.com where we help you not only get into, but through PA school. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.